Welcome to St. Hubert's Animal Welfare Center. I'm Kim Saunders, and I want to tell you about all the wonderful things we do here. Come on, let's take a tour. If you love animals and you want to give something back, boy, do we have the opportunities for you. The St. Hubert's Animal Welfare Volunteer Office has opportunities for all sorts of volunteering. When you first arrive at our shelter, one of the things you'll see is the statue of St. Francis. He's the patron saint of animals. Welcome, this is our lobby. When visitors come in, their first stop will be our front desk where they can meet our great staff and our awesome volunteers who can direct them to what they'd like to see. And off of the lobby, we have some of our small animals. We have some bunnies, ferret, guinea pigs. We have some hamsters. We often have some small birds and some of our resident cats hang out up front. This is our cattery. Visitors who would like to meet a new feline friend can come in here. Some of our cats are in cages, but many of them are just walking around waiting to meet you. We also do aromatherapy in here for our cats. We make sure that our cats get a lot of socialization, a lot of enrichment. Uh, they have toys, they have everything they need. They all get out time to walk around and exercise. They're much more likely to get adopted when they seem happy and will come forward and visit with people. Uh, a cat in the back of a cage being stressed is not gonna find a home very easily. When you adopt a cat from St. Hubert's, like Fuzzy, all of the cats come tested for feline leukemia and FIV, vaccinated, spayed or neutered, and microchipped. And all that's included with your adoption donation. So this is our cat visiting room. When someone comes in, they meet all of our cats. Eventually they may want to visit with one in particular to see if it's a good match. The whole family can come in. They can sit down. We have toys in here, um, wands, so they can see if the cats are interactive, if that's what they're looking for, and just spend some time with the cat to see if it's a good match for them. If you're a cat lover and you want to volunteer with us, there's so much you can do to help. Become one of our feline friends and come in and help our cats every day. Visitors interested in adopting a dog can come into our kennels and meet all of our dog residents right in here. All of our dogs get caranda beds so that they're raised up off the ground. And we also provide them with enrichment during the day. You'll see some of them have toys, and at various times during the day they'll get a stuffed Kong that they can work to get snacks and treats out of to help tire them out. Some of our dogs who've been here for a while uh, will know that when somebody gets a treat in their hand, they sit, and it teaches them to come up to the front of the cage and sit down. We feel it's really important for the dogs to interact with people. When you're gonna pick a match, it's a new family member, and you have to make sure that there's gonna be a good connection there and a relationship. And we think one of the best ways to do that is to have you interact with the dogs in a way that's safe. So we have kennel greeters here to make sure that no one gets hurt, but offering the dog a treat also lets them associate good things with people that are coming through. If you'll hear in our kennel, you don't hear a lot of barking and a lot of noise. Um, and part of that is because our dogs get a lot of enrichment and exercise and they're not stressed and they know that people coming through are just gonna bring them treats, so it's no reason to be alarmed. So these are our outdoor kennels. All of our dogs inside have access to outside runs during the day. Every two indoor kennels feed out into one run, so the dogs who can't be outside in the run at the time then can shift over and be in our other outdoor runs along there. We want to make sure our dogs get outside and get fresh air and exercise every day. And it also helps teach them to live in a home. They have indoor time in their kennel, which we want them to learn to relax and settle down, and then they have outdoor playtime. So this is a little enrichment session for Nico. Um, teaches him the things that you want to teach a dog in a home, which are mostly to settle down and calm down. Um, everybody thinks that walking dogs is the most important thing, and we love to let them get out and exercise. But in a home, the behavior that you're watching there, which is just laying quietly and calmly, is really what people want from their dogs 90% of the time. We have a wonderful staff and volunteers who work with our dogs every day, but these dogs are so eager to learn. They pick it up so quickly. We use all reward-based, humane treatment with a lot of treats. Uh, the dogs think that it's a fun game, and they learn really fast.
Welcome to the St. Hubert Spay-Neuter Clinic. We opened in January of this year and we are thrilled to be able to perform our spay-neuter surgeries for the adoptable pets that we have at both of our shelters right here. Taking care of our animals includes making sure that they are healthy. One of the main ways that we do this is provide age-appropriate vaccinations for all pets to make sure that we keep them free of disease. If you'd like to help the animals at St. Hubert's, contact us by visiting our website at www.sthuberts.org or call us at the shelter at 973-377-2295.